Hey guys, welcome back to This Darn Chick's Designs. Tonight we're actually going to design a t-shirt and then I'm actually going to show you how to print out your own fabric. So let's start with the actual t-shirt that I decided to do. This one right here is on Canva, okay? Um, it's called Los Angeles. So what I'm gonna do is go right up here. I really like this template. I like the background and everything. However, because I'm going to print it on a white t-shirt, a white cami, um, we're going to change some things up. So let's go ahead and we're gonna go up here. We're going to customize our template. And we're gonna go over here. And so this is what we come up with, okay? Really cool design. Um, it's got a picture of the city in the background and everything. However, like I said, because we're going to do it on black, or we are going to do it on a white cami, we want this black background to be gone. So, so we're going to take this off here. We're going over to our palette that we have. I'm going into Wild Orchard. It's just like, basically all of this is just white. That's all it is. So this is what I come up with, okay? Now, you can go ahead and if you notice, Angelus is not there. So what we're gonna do is go back. We're gonna put that in black. Oh, wait a minute, wrong one. Let's get this out of the way here. And let's kind of go back to the whole thing here so we can see where it's at. So you can actually see where it's at. Okay. So let's get go down here. Let's get rid of, rid of this area first. Okay, that's gone. All right. Then we're gonna go up to Angelus. Okay, we're gonna put that in black. Because remember, it's actually gonna go on to a white t-shirt. So that's already in black. So we are also going to change our background here. This whole background, this black background here, and we're gonna change it to white. So let's go up here. And we're just gonna go do white. So that's what our teacher is actually going to, to look like. Now, once you're done, you're going to want to go ahead and upload that. So we are going to take this and we are going up here to print your t-shirt. Okay. And over here to the side, it's actually going to come out with a black Los Angeles t-shirt. Now it shows you what it would look like on black, which is fine, but that's not what we're going to do. We're going to do it on white. However, I may wind up doing it on black um, later on. But right now, this is what I'm looking for. So I'm going to go up here and we're going to share, okay? Which means we're actually gonna go down here and we're going to download it. You want to go ahead and download your file. Once it's actually downloaded, then you can go into your system and mine pops up, okay? And I'm going to just save it, okay? So right here, black and orange illustration of Los Angeles t-shirt. So we're gonna go ahead and save that. It'll ask me right now, um, I already have one that is already existed. Do you wanna replace it? Yes, we're gonna go ahead and replace it, just, just to show you. So once you're finished, go ahead, cancel that off. Then we're gonna go over to our creative studio. Now I've already downloaded this to my Creative Studio. So let's kind of get up here, right here. All right. Can pull this back down in here. All right. And then once that's done here, put you over to the side. Okay. So once we get in here, okay, you're gonna go to start creating, all right? This is for your sawgrass. So anyone who has a sawgrass um, SG500, SG1000, uh, you're going to want to use this program. This program actually comes with it. You can update on this program if, you, if you'd like, but that's totally up to you. So what I'm gonna do is go down here to my galleries, okay? And all of my images that I save, I either one, save and upload, which you can upload an image if you want to, but I've already got this one ready for me. So I'm going to go in here and size it out. 
we are going to go up to the blank products area here, okay? Once you get up there, you wanna find whatever size uh, uh, paper or your DTF that you're gonna be putting it on. So I'm gonna do an eight by 12 signature portrait. And then we're gonna come over here and I am going to just kind of pull this out just a little bit, just so I can kind of fit it into the box. Don't go outside of the lines because once you go outside the lines, then it kind of messes up the whole thing. Um, so now that we've got it, okay, we are going to go to our print. Okay, this is where you get into, um, uh, you know, what size you're gonna print it on. So we're gonna just do letter. We're gonna go down here to cotton. And high quality is already on there, okay? Uh, you could do saturate it. And then you can go over to the print. Print has been successfully quenched. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and let this print out and then we're gonna take it over to the okay, desk. So once you get your print, okay, you're gonna see where it prints off at. It's gonna have like a little glossy film to it and stuff. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your DTF, okay? And this is transfer powder for DT DTF is what it is, okay? So this is what it looks like. I'm sorry, but I don't have very good lighting tonight. This is what it looks like, okay? This powder is actually going to be sprinkled over the top of our image. So what we're gonna do here, I'm gonna remove my shirt that I have. Let's kind of pull this up a little bit if we can. So you kind of see what's going on here. Let's remove this shirt and get it out of the way so we kind of see um, what's going on here with it. Now, before I do this, Sometimes you're gonna get a little bit of residual ink, okay? And that's just because it's it's printing off onto a wet surface. So what I do is just kind of cut around it, okay? Get rid of that piece that's there, all right? We're going to take the DTF and you're gonna sprinkle it over the top, okay? So you sprinkle it over the top here. And what that does is that embeds inside of the actual image itself, okay? This is over here. And then I just kind of move it from side to side. Okay, like that. And you wanna get it coated enough so all your image, kind of shake it back and forth, all your image is actually you'll be actually able to see it. Okay, so now this is done, all right? I usually just take the rest of it and just kind of put it over to the side. And then I go back and I kind of trim around where I'm gonna need this image, okay? So you can trim from whatever side. And that also while you're trimming, then this takes off that tape where you had taped it down. Okay, put it to the side here. One thing I like to do with my t-shirts when I do them is um, I like to actually put a second piece of paper up underneath. So for, for some reason, if the image was to bleed through, we definitely don't want that. So just a regular sheet of copy paper is fine. Go ahead, stick it right up under here. All that's doing is just protecting the other side of your shirt. Okay, let's go ahead and straighten it out just a little bit here. All right, figure out where I wanna put this at. Okay, so now that we've got that, let's kind of pull it down so you can, so you can see it a little bit there, okay? Like I said, I, I have to apologize because I don't have a whole lot of light in here tonight. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our image, which is what we have here. We're going to place it down onto our shirt. Once I get it placed down, I normally like to put heat tape around it to keep it in place because I'm going to move it from one area to the next. 
So I have to move it over to my pressing area. Okay. And this will be like one of those shirts I'm actually gonna wear for work tomorrow. That's why I go and get these camis because if I can get them cheap enough, I just make whatever. Okay, there's that. Now, this is gonna be pressed at 300, okay, um, for 10 seconds, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and do that. So over here. And many times I have gotten burnt by this thing, so I have to really watch. okay and pull it up this goes on for 10 seconds okay no more than 10 seconds maybe 12 seconds if you want to do 12 seconds that's fine you take it Pull it off, bring it over here to your table, okay? It'll be hot to the touch, which is fine. When you peel it, you wanna peel it when it's hot. You don't wanna peel it when it's cold, because I found out when it's cold, it wants to pull some of that image down, so. All right, so here it is. It stretches, there's a stretch to it. Came out great. Usually just take that sheet of paper that you don't need and pull it out. Now. If you wanted to embellish it, you could embellish it. Um, I like to embellish some of my stuff, so I may wind up embellishing it with some little stones or something later on. Um, let me see what I got here really fast. I could probably just go ahead and do that now. One thing I, I can tell you though, if you embellish this for any reason whatsoever, don't put the stones on top of the actual design itself. They will fall off. You need to put them around that design, okay? So, let's see here, what do we got in here? I've got several different different types of stones that are in here. Some of these are glue stones, some of these are like hot stones, um, and it just depends on what you're looking for. You can do like three meters. These are three millimeters right here. This is a really cool one, so let's go ahead and use these. Normally, what I'll do is I kind of just place them wherever. I'm not really big on where I'm gonna place this at. Um, and you wanna place it like right here. I'm just gonna show you for example, cause once I get it over there, I'm gonna have to replace everything. But you wanna make sure just because they're so tiny, you wanna make sure that each one of these are placed where you can see the little, the little stones at. So what I'm gonna do is take this over here. I'm just gonna put some stones on it and then I'm going to heat press that down and then I will bring it back to you. But this one came out really cute. It's a really cute shirt. So you take this and I'll be right. Okay, so here it is. So I went ahead and I used some three millimeter stones on here. Sorry about that, that's my dog. Um, we got pizza coming, so. <laughs> so that's why they're going nuts. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's got some nice little stones on it, um, but this is what you can actually create with your um, with your SG-1000. So this is really, really cute little shirt. It, this shirt only cost me $8.99. Okay, now think about it. If you had the print that was on there, do you know it's gonna cost you about $21 to $23 just to have this print on here? So you guys need to be um, uploading Canva and Canva is where I got these designs at. Um, I will leave you a link down below but you can embellish your own shirts and it's just better to just get a plain white one. Okay, you can get them at Walmart, Target. Um, I got mine at Kato's, um, wherever you decide to do it. But anyways, um, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll have everything listed down below and thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and have a good night.